Alright, well, hey to anyone who's watching this, all five of you or whatever, but um, this review I've been meaning to do for a while um, with these Hestia tobacco, from Hestia Tobacco, these craft filtered cigars. Um, I mean, they're, they look like cigarettes. I guess that's the, I've never had a, any other kind of filtered cigar, so I don't know what they normally look like really, but, um, obviously they, I mean, they don't have that kind of white paper that cigarettes do normally. They have some, like, nat, some nice natural, um, just unbleached paper. Uh, you don't get that cigarette smell with them, uh, that you... You do. I've actually I've smoked this around non-smokers, and I wouldn't consider myself a smoker either. I don't normally smoke cigarettes. I just got these because I've been wanting to try them, and because the Hesse Tobacco started um, accepting Bitcoin, which I figured I once they did that, I figured ah, oh, well I'll do that now because it's it's so much easier <laughs> online to use Bitcoin for stuff, and I just wanted to send them some business to support them for starting to accept that. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. I've smoked this around people who who don't normally smoke, who don't really, and they said it smelled like a cigar, so I say that's a pretty good um, a pretty good voucher, or pretty good whatever for that they, they don't smell like cigarettes and how they normally do, and that's what I notice with cigarettes most of the time is um, that kind of it's always that taste with the paper because even I've tried like rolling cigarettes in the past because I've never really gotten too much into smoking cigarettes I kind of liked occasionally just to smoke something because they were something little and small but you always got that that just that paper smell which wasn't very pleasant um, these are definitely different you don't get that paper taste either it tastes like a very mild um, Cigar. I mean, you're also dealing because it's going through the filter, so I'm sure. No, I don't know, but I'm sure that takes some of the flavor out. At least I feel like it. It would, but uh, you definitely it tastes like actual tobacco. <clears throat> it doesn't just taste like the paper. Um, I've been wanting to try something like that to see if it was just just to have a cigarette that tasted like real tobacco, and I'd even I'd gotten those American Spirit. Um, those American Spirit cigarettes that come in a little, what I think it's like maroon and like mustard gold box, which it's like organic tobacco, and but it's still it's made with those paper, with with the white paper, that the bleach paper with the glue, which everyone I'm not sure what to believe on what's all in cigarettes, but supposedly the glue that holds those. Is like the stuff that goes in carpenter's glue, and that's where, that's where the guy who started to make these wanted to make make them and market them as cigarettes. But um, yeah, I guess I'll just show you the box some more because it's got some nice. I don't know. It looks like it's. I mean, it looks nice. It's not a box. It's it's more just some form of plastic wrapping around it. But it's got some nice. It looks nice to it. But anyway. He wanted to originally market them as cigarettes. Is that I'm thinking? I haven't. I looked at this a little bit ago, and then I may have forgotten everything. So look it up yourself if you really care that much. But I think he had been trying to market them as cigarettes originally, and he just went through like a very, very long time with the FDA trying to figure out stuff because they have all the regulations on that, and. So eventually he just decided to go with cigars and just calling them filtered cigars, which all he had to do is you have to make it over like 100 grams of tobacco in each each one or something like that. Or may, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but that that lets him get out of a like a cigarette tax on them and, or in which puts the cost down a decent amount. Now, I, the one thing I have about the cost, these are about, I think, like $13 for a pack of two, maybe a little bit more. My only complaint was the only sh option for shipping was a, was 
think it was like a like the the cheapest one that I could see was a two day, and it was like it was seven dollars, which was a I don't really care if things get there that quickly as long as I get them. So the shipping was about half of what the what the two packs of cigarettes were. Um, so that'd be my only complaint about the cost. Like I, I know they cost more because I mean, as you can see, they look they look better. They don't have the the white paper, as I was saying, that smells and tastes bad. They taste amazing compared to regular cigarettes. And so, I mean, even if you don't inhale, these are they're a decent little smoke that'll take about 10 or 7 minutes, 10 minutes, and if you just want to smoke a little something, get a little taste, even, or if you're just a casual, kind of just, you smoke at parties, or when you're out with people, this might be a good thing that you're, it's, it just tastes better, and it's not as offensive to the nose, at least for me, um, and I'll put this back in. Anyway, so, yeah, I ordered just two packs, and with that, you get the little little box of matches with, I guess, an orange tip. So, it just says Hesty Tobacco, and then on the back, it shows that stuff. Um, but, I mean, with the shipping, it did come in two days, so I got what I paid for there. I just I didn't want to have to pay that. I don't know, they might be changing that soon. But you get 20 to a pack, and then on the pack, it just, um, I don't know how many different quotes they have, but on the two that I got, they had at least two different quotes on the back of them. I guess on this one, it's from The Great Gatsby, Chapter 7. So we drove on toward death through the cooling twilight. So they have some little quotes on the back, and then they also have to have the little, um warning about cigars and like because obviously we can't figure out that inhaling some kind of smoke is bad but <clears throat> I guess I'll just read a little bit more that's on the back it says we believe the American tobacco farmer acknowledging the sacrifice to grow all natural produce we give 10% back to agricultural nonprofits. we savor the tastes and aromas of well-aged tobacco we deconstructed and rethought filtered cigars as a design study, embracing design, construction, and consumption, all as mediums of artistic expression. We all know they are addictive. So, I mean, definitely check them out if you like cigarettes or cigars. Um, I mean, they're definitely more pricey than cigarettes, but as more and more the taxes go up on cigarettes, that might change. Um, like I said... Toward the beginning of this short video, I one of the biggest reasons I finally decided to order these were that the Hestia started accepting Bitcoin, which I'm pretty into. Um, and I'd say anyone who's watching this video who hasn't heard about that, definitely check that out, look into it. Um, right now it's been down, actually, quite a bit. <laughs> Here I go into um, Bitcoin evangelism mode. Or not evangelism, but... Um, of course, it sounds like a Ponzi scheme whenever I talk, talk like this. It's, it's low, just buy it, so I, mine go, but, anyway, um, yeah, that went pretty smooth. There was a little bit of a, a problem, because when I ordered the, the two packs, they're, the way, um, Hestia Tobacco does is you place your order, and then they give you a Bitcoin address, and then you have one hour for to get to send those bitcoins and the I was using a wallet on my smartphone and for some reason it was taking a very long time to get a transaction so I ended up sending a second payment from my desktop uh, bitcoin wallet which got there quicker and I just sent an email to the guy who runs Hestia about okay I paid twice because I didn't know if it was gonna get there in an hour and he was fine with that. He sent me a refund of one of the payments so that I didn't have to pay twice for two packs, even though I told him that if he didn't want to do that or he didn't trust me, that, I mean, he didn't have to because it was my mistake because I was being stupid. But, yeah, definitely a good guy. He didn't... He was nice, talked to me, uh, didn't treat me <laughs> like an idiot for messing that up, and he... 
and he sent me back my money, so just everything about the transaction was good, and I just want to do a review, uh, partly from my friend's blog about Bitcoin, which if you're watching it here, thanks for checking that out, and you'll probably hear about this on our podcast as well, but also just to put a review up for Hestia Tobacco, because I haven't seen one on YouTube so far, a video, and I've seen very few even written up ones, but uh, I figured I'd do this and just get that out there. Actually, before I finish this, I'll just show you a little, a little bit. I don't know. This camera isn't very good, so it's probably not going to be any less, any more blurry or any. But then, just at the end, you can see the nice tobacco and it's just kind of stuck in there. And again, it's got a nice, pretty nice draw. It's not really hard. I've heard some people say it's. A little bit harder of a draw just because it's packed more because of the the whole cigar that it has to be classified as a cigar. But I didn't really notice that too much. But I'm also used to more smoking cigars than cigarettes, so I, I don't really know. But yeah, definitely check them out. Um, you can find them on Facebook, Twitter, or just go to HestiaTobacco.com. They're located in Chicago, Illinois. But yeah, check them out and... Yeah, see if you want anything. They also sell a bunch of different shirts and coffee mugs and hats. So, yep, thanks for watching. Bye.